Let's examine the latest controversy with Ice Spice and her demonic hand gestures, paired with drawing attention to an upside down cross she was wearing while wearing Balenciaga, a clothing line tied to photo shoots that include pedophilia and satanic artwork while in the company of Taylor Swift, who has been known to support satanic imagery in her videos herself. Let's see how reaching it really is to come up with the conclusion that this is satanic. Most comments arguing against the accusation that this is demonic set their argument up with what is known as a logical fallacy called cherry picking. Cherry picking occurs when someone selectively chooses evidence or factors that support their argument and only their position while ignoring other relevant evidence or factors that would contradict it. And since this clip on my channel has garnered so much attention from those that are for it, against it, or neutral, I figured I would expand upon this clip and give you an honest, non-reaching observation. No conspiracy theories here. The cherry picking claim that Ice Spice was not being demonic at the Super Bowl is that the upside down cross is tied to the Catholic Church and they're absolutely right. It is. In Catholic tradition, the upside down cross has to do with St. Peter. The upside down cross is an ancient symbol of St. Peter's crucifixion. Tradition tells us that when St. Peter was martyred, he insisted that he be crucified upside down as he did not believe himself worthy to be crucified in the manner of Jesus Christ. This is true, but I'm sure St. Peter wasn't throwing devil horns up while upside down on the cross. But is St. Peter in the Catholic Church the only reference? Well, no, and we know that, and so are the people that are defending it. In branches of Satanism, the occult and witchcraft, the upside down cross is used as a symbol of rebellion against traditional Christian beliefs and values and overall disrespect of God and what Jesus Christ has done for us on the cross. So let's not cherry pick or far reach for conspiracy theories. Let's just look at it at face value. If Ice Spice had just worn the upside down cross, could it possibly be that her stint in a Catholic high school had inspired her to wear the cross of St. Peter? Sure. But let's look at the whole picture. When pairing the upside down cross with demonic hand gestures while wearing Balenciaga, a clothing line with ties to pedophilia and satanic imagery in their photo shoots, all while sitting next to Taylor Swift, who has no problem with satanic imagery being pumped in her videos, which by an eyewitness she herself has been accused of allegedly drinking blood and attending demonic parties. You've seen her do that made you believe that she is part of a satanic cult, that she blood. is in fact, she did what now? She drank blood, bro. This is disturbing, She Richie. was there drinking blood, bro. She goes, I love drinking blood. Maybe the last part is hard to believe, but adding it all together, what would you say logically? Is this just a huge misunderstanding of her support for the Catholic Church and devil horns are the new norm when referencing the St. Peter's cross? Or does the satanic devil horns, upside down cross, Balenciaga clothing, Paired with her lyrics, which honestly go against God's instruction and desire for humanity, that all of this actually point towards an occult or demonic representation. Add in her companion at the Super Bowl, Taylor Swift, whose recent video Karma has her wearing a devil's mask. You ask yourself, what's so crazy about making the rational conclusion that this indeed is demonic and not of God? In the famous words of Cat Williams, if you're an atheist, I didn't say anything, but as a believer, I've definitely said something and I've definitely laid some evidence that you need to look at wholly without cherry picking. You need to look at the whole, the whole submission of evidence and how far do we have to go before we can actually make the conclusion that somebody's actually doing something. People in courts have been sentenced for far longer for more based on less evidence. It seems we live in a time where people don't want the truth to be the truth, but the Bible told us that this would happen. In closing, I'd like to share this verse with you, which is very fitting and lets us know what time we're in. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9-12, through 12, it says, The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. In all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing, they perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted 
in wickedness. You guys stay blessed. God family country. And remember, choose this day whom you're going to serve. Choose this day.